if the lack of celebrity gossip during the pandemic has gotten you down, never fear. Pop culture expert Vicki Sparks now with a solution with the latest in celebrity memoirs that you should have on your reading list. And she joins us now. Vicki, the first book up is Mariah Carey's, and she is not holding back in this memoir. She sure isn't. Even the biggest Mariah Carey fan is going to be surprised at the raw and vulnerable details that she lets go in this memory. In this memoir, she starts from her early childhood, which was filled with violence and neglect. She chronicles her never ending drive to succeed in music to the point that she had absolutely no backup plan if it didn't work out. She talks about her tumultuous and violent marriage with Tommy Mottola and shares never before heard details from her so-called breakdown in the early 2000s. Mariah's laying it all out there for us to be acquainted with. Now, you get to read about violence perpetrated against her from her older siblings when she was just a child, the horrific racism that she endured as a child of mixed race in a time when that made her incredibly unique, and the incredibly obsessive level that Tommy Mottola went to to control every detail of both her personal and professional life. You want to hear about her affair with Derek Jeter? That's in the book. You want to talk about her movie disaster glitter? She believes Tommy sabotaged it on purpose. Her breakdown in the early 2000s, she thinks her mother and brother were behind it in order to take control of her finances. And if those aren't enough details to make you want to crack open this book, let me share perhaps the biggest bombshell from it. Mariah reveals that there exists somewhere in the world a grunge punk genre Mariah Carey album that has never been released. I have thought of nothing else since learning this fact, and I won't think of anything else until I get to hear it. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like a page turner. Mindy Kaling is up next. Tell us about her book. So this is Mindy Kaling's third collection of essays, and while I love her TV shows as much as the next person, I'll confess that I actually think these personal essays that she writes are her strongest work. Her voice in these essays is so genuine and authentic that when you read them, it's the first time in my life I've ever genuinely thought, stars, they really are just like us. So in this collection, she chronicles everything from the intensely personal grief she went through when she discovered that she was pregnant with her first child and came to the realization that her mom, who was an OBGYN doctor and had passed away eight years prior, would never get to meet her first grandchild and the incredible baby nurse who came along to pull her from her grief. She also includes a name-dropping essay that reveals that she has a habit of paying for other celebrities' dinner when she happens to spot them in the same restaurant as her. She says it makes her feel like a big shot. But this habit leads to a mortifying confrontation at Conan O'Brien's annual Christmas party that has to be read to be believed. Rashida Jones, Hugh Jackman, everybody's a player in it, and I am still dealing with secondhand embarrassment from reading it. On top of that, she chronicles the ridiculous stopping a robbery while nine months pregnant with her best friend, BJ Novick, to the romantic, which includes her passionate desire for a husband, as long as he is Coach Taylor from Friday Night Lights, a feeling that I think we have all shared in at one point or another. What's so great about Mindy's essays is that it feels like you're having a glass of wine on a Friday night with a girlfriend, and this third collection is no different. Okay, and finally, okay. something to look forward to next month. Uh, Michael J. Fox is releasing a new book, Vicki. He sure is. So this one doesn't come out until November 17th, but this is his fourth book, and he's trying to be both a realist and an optimist at the same time. Now, obviously, we all know and love Michael J. Fox, and we know about the incredible success he's had both personally and professionally, and we're also quite familiar with some of the challenges he's faced. At this point, it's common knowledge that he was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's, but I had forgotten that he was only 29 years old when that happened. Now, at 59 years old, he's getting refreshingly honest about the challenges he's facing on a daily basis. This book chronicles dealing with one new spinal cord issue that has, ha has him relying on a wheelchair more often than he'd like. From the risky surgery through the months of painful rehabilitation, he doesn't hold anything back while trying to hold on to that happy-go-lucky optimist spirit that he's so well known for. But he admits that as he 
considers his own mortality, he and Parkinson's have had to come to an agreement. This is a book that will motivate you. It will move you. It is a perspective shift like only he could give. So it's going to make the perfect holiday gift. All right. Some good reads to get us through this winter. For more things pop culture, everything to know about pop culture, follow Vicky on Instagram at SparksVicky. Great chatting, Vic. Thanks. Yes.